I love this hobby. I love this hobby. And here's why. A big howdy howdy to all my fellow and future hobbyists out there. My name is Matthew and I am your BRS beginner guru. As a total newbie, it is impossible to know exactly what it's like to own a saltwater aquarium, but there are so many things to love. These are my favorites, but I want to know what your favorites are, so leave a comment down below. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Number one on my list is I love the sound of water. I especially love that water that just goes over the weir and then lands in my rear filtration chamber. It really gives this lovely brook sound, this kind of like gurgling, bubbling spring water that especially when everybody is gone for the day, my wife's at work, my kids are at school, and I can just stand here and work and listen to that sound and it's super soothing. Number two, I love schooling fish. I don't know what it is about schooling fish, but I love schooling fish. I love schooling chromis, I love schooling antheus, any type of schooling fish. And right now, I do have four schooling antheus over here, but I want to get myself a huge tank and have a ton of schooling fish. I love the challenge. I think any hobby out there can be super challenging, but what's really challenging about the saltwater aquarium hobby is it's relatively new and all of our gear and our methodology is changing super rapidly. There aren't easy answers for a lot of things, which can be super frustrating at times, but it also makes it worthwhile. There isn't an easy way to do things. There isn't one way to do things. And to me, that challenge is an appeal of this hobby. Number four on the list is I love the view of my tanks at nighttime from outside. We live in this really nice community and we can drive down at nighttime. And when I drive by this house, I always look up into my house and I can see this just soft blue light coming down and it is gorgeous. I love it when a tank finds the sweet spot. Anybody who has had a tank knows that you can struggle for several months, maybe up to a year, until your tank settles in. There might be diatom bloom, cyanobacteria, you might have a dinoflagellate outbreak, green hair algae, bubble algae, who knows? But over time, it just settles into this sweet spot, and you don't have to test all the time, and you don't even have to do water changes every week because you know your tank is stable and it's found its happy place. I love how the tank looks the day after a water change. Water changing is not my favorite thing because it involves a lot of routine maintenance and it makes the water cloudy, it doesn't look good, but I know the next day when those lights turn on, all the crud has been filtered out, the tank is crystal clear and gorgeous. Number seven on the list, I love micromusas, acans, and frog spawns. Acans, they're so fluffy, they're so colorful, and they grow relatively quick. And frog spawns, I don't know. I prefer them so much more than hammer corals or torch corals. Something about their long tentacles and the varying shapes and off branches and the water movement. My goodness, the water movement on frog spawns. I love micromuses and frog spawns. I love the textures of macroalgae. I am new to the macroalgae world probably six months in, and it has opened up an entire new aspect of this hobby to me. Macroalgae come in so many cool colors, shapes, and textures, and compared to the price of a lot of corals, they are so inexpensive, and not only that, but they help control your nutrient levels by consuming nitrates and phosphates from your water column. I love trade shows. I haven't been to a trade show in years. I was scheduled to go to MACNA a couple of years ago, and then COVID hit, and then I was scheduled to go to MACNA in Orlando, but I had to cancel my flight the day before because we didn't know when that hurricane <laughs> was going to hit. So it has been years since going to a trade show. I love trade shows because I'm a gear geek and I love seeing what all the new gear is and all the new tanks. And I love the smattering of coral vendors as well. It is just everything I love in one space. Number 10 on the list. I love aquarium artwork and livestock artwork. My wife has been so good and she has found almost every piece of artwork you see in this house. I have such cool things. I have seahorse pictures and fish bread bowls and really cool lobster artwork and seahorse artwork and, and I mean it's it's amazing what you can find out there. And I love finding unique pieces because it really just helps express my passion for the hobby. I love hand feeding my Toby. I love it. My Toby is a new addition and I've wanted a Toby for years. And this Toby is so 
freaking friendly. I mean, so friendly that within the first couple weeks, I was able to hand feed Krill. Yeah, he got my finger once, but that was my fault for putting my finger into the tank. It really adds a new deep level of interaction that I had never experienced with a fish before. I love watching the seahorses dance, but seahorses for the most part just hang around and are latched onto things all day. But there's this magic hour in the morning when I think they get up and they do their mating dance out in the free open water. And it is so fun to watch. Number 13 on the list today just makes me giggle. I love a clean back panel on your aquarium. I know that some people like the opposite. Some people love their back panels covered in coralline algae. But if I had my druthers, that back panel would be completely black, but other tanks like this one over here has a glass back panel, which means that I can scrape it down and keep it clean, which I don't know why, but it makes me super happy. But I love mobile wheelchair ramps. Watch this little video of me. I have my water station outside because I don't have a utility room. So what I used to have were these 20 gallon brute trash cans and I would have to pull it all the way over and then there's this lip that goes into the gallery. And 20 gallons, two times eight, it's like 160 pounds and I could barely lift that over the lip. Well, then I upgraded to these 32 gallon brute trash cans and I could no longer do it. So I used to have to wait around until my wife got home and then we both lifted as hard as we could to get it over. But then I spent $130. Yes, it was expensive, but I spent $130 on this portable wheelchair ramp. And now watch, watch. It goes up, it goes down, and it's in, and it's super easy. I love brute trash can dollies. I love them. For years, for years, I thought they were too expensive. I was like, I'm not spending 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars. I can't remember how much they cost. I will just go ahead and pull that brute trash can around. And I did it for years, like some sort of idiot. And then one day I was like, Matthew, let's just go ahead and buy one. So I went, I went to Home Depot, Lowe's or whatever, and I picked up the brute dolly. And oh my goodness, it changed my life. Having wheels on a trash can full of water makes your life so <laughs> much easier. Number 16 on the list today, I love nighttime. Sitting in my reclining chair once the kids are in bed, my lights are on dim, and reading my Kindle. There's something about the darkness, the moonlight's coming down, the sound of the water, the peacefulness of it all. It is one of my favorite places to be in the house, one of my favorite places to be in the world. I love the top-down coral view. I mean, who doesn't love a top-down coral view? But if you're new, you might not know what we're talking about. Normally, you're looking at your tank through the glass, but one of the most beautiful ways to look at your tank is from the top down, and that means turning your wave maker off and turning your return pump off so the water gets super still, and the view is drastically different, especially if you have some sort of acan garden or corals, all the different colors, it is one of the most beautiful ways to see your tank. Number 18 on the list, I love new tanks and new gear. That is one of the reasons why I continually set up new tanks, and I especially love electronic gear. But I'm like a giddy schoolboy whenever a new piece of gear comes in, and it makes me super happy. You may not have expected this one, but I love surprising beginners with voice memo answers. I get a lot of emails, a lot of people ask me questions, and I love trying to respond to as many of them as hey, I can. John, and you? one of the hey, easiest things for me to so do, rather than type things out, email. is just I'm to create a, really a voice good. memo. And yeah, I love surprising beginners with a elaborate answer is, in a voice memo I form because so it really feels personal, and I love giving that personal touch to different. beginners. Number 20 on the list, I love a well-executed aquascape. Mm, there's something about a well-executed aquascape that you stand back and you look at it, follows the rule of thirds, it's aesthetically pleasing, it's functional, there's places for corals, it has hiding places and arches. It is just a beautiful piece of art. I love when zombie snails emerge. It's so cool. We're talking Nasarius snails and Sarath snails, those meat-eating scavengers that like to live underneath the sand bed and have their little noses poked up. I know they're not called noses. I don't know what they're called, but you know what I mean. Their little tentacles popped up, and when you feed the tank with some meaty foods, they emerge from the sand bed, just like zombies emerging from the grave and chase down that meaty food, and it's super fun to watch. I love conch eyeballs. No joke. I love conch eyeballs. They are so cool. Their eyeballs are like at the ends of these long stringy things and they're super colorful and they're always moving around and there's always watching you. They are some of the most unique eyeballs I've ever seen in this hobby 
and I love watching my conch watch me. There are so many things that I dislike as well. And there's this one huge pet peeve I have from a major company that actually might surprise you. To learn about that pet peeve and all the things I dislike about this hobby, we will put a link right over here somewhere as soon as we finish the video. And as always, everybody, thanks for watching. Happy reefing. Be well. We'll see you next time.